no, that means Will's not going to be here. He so probably won't be here. Eh, it's stupid, moron. You know how he is. Uh, what a dork. No one else is even here. Hey, fellas. Oh, oh my God. God. Of course, I said no one. I said no one. I said Shut no one up, else Cole. Shut up, Cole. He's, a, he's got to do his I'm job. Just broadcast journalist. No. I'm, I'm not Cole. on commentary Cole. today. Cole. You got questions for us? Yes, or you just I have a few questions. You want an autograph? choose the stipulations that you chose because eh, it's an even fair trade I guess and see he needs to get rid of that little mop on his head he needs to regrow some new hair and the 50% storyline thing I don't know I guess I just want to show my dominance so you I mean you think Logan might take it that you're power hungry and you want all the control. So no, that way I'm not. you can posse up anybody that you want and make your little puppets. No, I'm not power hungry. I, I got somebody in mind to take over that spot. Should I, should I, should I bring from, him out? From in the in the video, um, Dustin over here to my right, you guys were talking about it. That he will possibly take over that 50% ownership if you beat Logan. But that's if you beat Logan. And that's a big what question. Makes, what makes you so confident that that you're not going to lose? What? Because I'm only at the damn best thing going today. Okay. You see, Mr. Price wants to go around and say, "Oh, not at this level." And I just watched that. But, see, I've got the United States heavyweight title. How am I washed up? How? I don't know. See, I've been at this level, well, that level since day one. Uh oh, but anyway, uh, I can just get the job done whenever I can. But if I do need help, I will signal it. But if I don't, make them buzz off. confident that I am going to lose that match. I didn't say you were going to lose. Exactly. That's why I'm saying I'm going to win. Look at the look, look at the competition. Will, he's the UCWA world champion. He had to use a briefcase to do that. Yeah. Congratulations. Look at Josh. Ring rust. Look at the mechanic. No experience. How am I not going to win this match? How? Valid point. Thank you, Corey. Next question. Seeing as you are the most experienced man going into this match, you have 11 world championships under your belt. Your current is going to be your longest. You're still counting on that reign. How does it feel to know that you finally have achieved that thing that you've been lacking your entire career with your long reign? Well, you see, I do believe this is something I was due for. Uh, to 
to win titles is great, but to lose them is even worse, and I've done that a lot of times. So now the title's on my shoulders, and I've held it for a good bit now. It feels nice, but listen, if you're trying to get to the thing where this is karma, where I'll lose the World Heavyweight Championship in this last man standing match, that's not going to happen, Corey. I'm sorry to shatter your heart, but it's not going to happen. I strive to be the best, and you know this. You've kept up with my career. And come anarchy, I'll show you why I'm the best. I'll dismantle the maniac, I'll dismantle the warthog Josh, and I'll take Will to Lindsay after I'm done beating his ass. That's how it goes. I believe that's that's it. I I am a big fan of yours, and I, I have followed you. your career since GSW. I thank you. I'll send your autograph after you guys, this. You guys, you and your sister Nicole are the ones that actually employed me and got my commentated career well, started. What the fuck were we thinking? Well, Sorry, Cole. I bloody night. I like you. I like Cole. So that, that I have been following your career, and I appreciate you taking the time to speak with me today. Of course. Anything uh, for a loyal fan, Corey. Now, on to the advocate. Come on, Hunter, let's let him have the spotlight. He don't have many since he's in the home now. That's true. Sorry. Quit the pudding, Belly! <laughs> You are the advocate for these two men, Miss. How do you feel that they're going to fare? I think they're going to do. A, I, I not only feel they're going to they're going to fare, they're going to actually win the ranches. Cause I'll tell you right now, people. The only thing I got to say is the greatest champion in the backyard. He's been here since day one. He's held every title that he any, every organization he's been in. He will once again rise to the occasion. He will walk out the undisputed United States heavyweight champion at Anarchy. And Dustin Little, his accolades speak, speak for themselves. He's a nine, he's 11 time world heavyweight champion. And he walks, uh, he walks in as the champ, and he walks out still the heavyweight champion of the world. What are, you, what are your thoughts for this? What are your thoughts for this upcoming year and what it has in store? What? How do you think? How do you think in 2020 the competition is going to fare? I think the competition is going to be great here, uh, here in the, both organizations. We got a lot of good things coming up this year. People on thing and say, "Hey, stay tuned. It's going to be a fan." 2019 was good. 2020 is going to be even better. Appreciate your time speaking with me today. You're welcome. He's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not